hostiles. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Late yesterday afternoon, early evening, a video was put up by another channel, Jennifer Veterans for Truth. Now, that channel and mine crossed paths back in 2017 during the issue of the USS Fitzgerald. That was the only other channel that was willing to stand up for the sailors of both of those vessels, while virtually every single other so-called truth or patriotic channel was denigrating those young men. So we've stayed in touch back and forth over the years. But it's an interesting find that this video covered, because it's very near to my home. And I've looked at this and looked at this and really don't have any other good explanation other than hers that we might be seeing some cloaked craft. Now, 3D imaging is something that Google Earth, the web-based version, does a little bit better than Google Earth Pro does. Now, here is her find right here. Whatever this is, it is definitely above the water level. What I've done is I've used a, a line measuring tool to put a line down so that you can see that it is obscuring the line. The line doesn't go through it. This isn't some figment of the uh, imaging. Here you can kind of see somewhat through it. It's opaque which actually lends more to that explanation of it being a cloaked craft. Now, radar imaging not being perfect, I don't think whatever the craft is, is this exact shape. I just think this is how the return came back. Now, there are two more in a line directly south. And this one, this second one, actually proves it even more. This one is a much cleaner image, and you can see the shadow being cast by this. Whatever this is, it is above the ground and not attached to the ground.
and I don't, I can't think of any other possible realistic explanation for what this is, other than perhaps, you know, we have Patrick Air Force Base south of us, we have Mayport north of us, we have Naval Air Station Jacksonville north of us, um, we have some high-level military assets here in Florida. This would be an excellent place, an excellent place to test this. Because this is a somewhat abandoned stretch of the Matanzas River. And out here in the river, you can see some things and you can identify them. Um, in her video, she was kind of unsure. And that's perfectly fine. You wouldn't know unless you lived here. This more than likely right here is a dolphin. And over here, closer to it, is what looks like a pair of manatees. Because they're everywhere out there. So you have this one, and weirdly enough, when I measured it, and let me clear this out so I can try to try to measure the thing for you, it won't allow me to actually measure it because you can see if I draw a line, it draws it on the actual surface, not above the surface. But I'm going to try to approximate using 2D. And if we start here and stop here, we get about... about six meters yeah that's up there in the corner which is about in feet about 20 feet now what makes that strange is if you go back to the USS Nimitz incident remember the tick track craft that those FA-18s chased <clears throat> pardon me here is the description from the pilots themselves. When the jet fighters arrived on site, the crew of four saw nothing in the air nor on their radar. On Princeton's radar, a ship in the region, it was noticed that the object had now dropped from 28,000 feet to near sea level in less than a second. And when we look at those odd returns on Google Earth, the web-based version, they are very near sea level. Less than a second. As the pilots looked down at the sea, they noticed a turbulent oval area of churning water with foam and frothy waves, the size of a Boeing 737, with a smoother area of lighter color at the center as if the waves were breaking over something just under the surface. A few seconds later, they noticed an unusual object hovering with erratic movements about 50 feet, 15 meters above the churning water. Both Fravor and Slate, the two pilots, later described the object as a large bright white tic-tac, 30 to 46 feet long, 9 to 14 meters, no windshield, porthole, winger and pennage, no visible engine or exhaust plume. So this particular one right here is a little bit smaller than what they described, but not much. But the third one, this was the first one. Here was the second one. And just eyeball, it's about the same size. But with this one, it looks a lot more like a craft. It really does. The The radar wraparound on this is near, you've got the nose here. It, it's hard to say which direction this would be moving. But the last one is a very different shape. And I wonder if it has to do with the fact that it might be moving faster. Once again, casting a shadow, but let's measure this one. Once again, you can't see the line because it's underneath it. This one is 44 feet long or 13 meters. This one's right in there. That's right in the envelope described by those Navy pilots. And once again, out in the water, you can see identifiable things. Once again, I think this is a dolphin, just based on size and shape. And that's not uncommon out here. They're everywhere in this section of the river. This area is quite a way south of St. Augustine. Um, it's a lot more peaceful, a lot less traffic. And across the uh, 
let me see if I can do some control imagery for you to show you what a tree looks like or a bush looks like in 3D when you come down to this level. As you can see, anything that's on the ground gets kind of morphed to the ground, like all these trees and bushes. You don't see any area or space underneath them. Unlike these craft, where it's very, very clear that there is space underneath them. And every time I measure, it clicks back to 2D. I'll click this back to 3D for you real quick. As you can see, whatever this is, it is above the ground. Now, measuring how far above the ground is only something I can do eyeball. They, there's no mechanism for measuring altitude in Google Earth here. And if you were looking at this from high above, you would never see this. You would never see this in a million years as anything different or weird. I mean, here's the first one right here. It just looks like a dark spot, you know, in the sand until you get right down, I mean, right on top of it and then click over the 3D imagery. You wouldn't have a prayer of um, locking onto this with any kind of a heat sensing weapon. That's for sure. And, I, you know, I'm not sure whether this is alien or whether this is ours because... You know, we've seen this out of Canada, where they have this, they call it an invisibility shield. You know, just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're protected. You know, someone behind this shield would still be vulnerable to ballistic weapons. You know, if you saw something, a kind of weird, oh, I don't know, remember back in the movie Predator? The first one in 87, when he would disappear, there would be this kind of foggy area, this out-of-focus area wherever he was standing. You know, if you just took your chance and decided to fire at that, I mean, it would have been the end of the Predator, and it was, you know, would it be the end of whoever tried to use this as that type of a protection. But if you were using heat technology, like down here in the lower right, a heat-sensing missile, then it would lose lock. If this is truly the case... If this is really what happens, that there's no heat that goes through. But, you know, if it's a it's a heat seeker, you know, it wouldn't the imagery wouldn't matter. It wouldn't care what it's look like. It's just looking for a heat signature. So just showing different uh incarnations of this, it's all over the place. So honestly. I have no other earthly explanation for this. It's not a boat for sure. It's not a tree. It's not a wave. And I've looked all over to see if I could find other um, events like this. But just these three. And I'll give you the coordinates. And like I said, because this is a 3D event here, you'll have to use Google Earth, the web-based version. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year and... No matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. 
Hostile, 12 o'clock at 6 miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Chris. 